How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Caller. FC Tucson took the field tonight in Vail at Micah Mountain High School. It was an exhibition game and it all kicked off against Coronado AC at 7 p.m. It was being labeled as Faith and Family Night in East Pima County. Here are the fans at Micah Mountain High School and here comes FC Tucson before the lightning strikes led the game to end up being called. Check out Diego Ruiz pushing the ball up and then he'll center it perfectly and Leonel Gutierrez puts it in there like swimwear. FC Tucson jumps ahead 1-0. The game would later be called due to lightning nearby. Meanwhile, here comes Jenna Fink as FC Tucson now turns its focus to Saturday's game that actually counts. It's do or die as the playoff spot is on the line. Jenna Fink reports from the south side. FC Tucson men's soccer has put on a show for fans in these stands all season. The squad is unbeaten here at Keno North Stadium. It looks to stay that way in its final regular season game. Anytime we play at home in front of our crowd, in front of this city, we, uh, we always have one, one expectation and, and really one demand, and that's to get all three points. FC Tucson needs those three points to have its best shot at making the playoffs. The top two teams from their division will make it. FC Tucson is in second right now, but Redlands FC just two points behind. Despite that, the squad is feeling good going into Saturday's game. Just having that confidence as an attacking player, that uh, confidence to take risks, confidence to be brave and believe in themselves is massive. One player with plenty of confidence, forward Jose Conte. He has scored four goals in the last two games. Every time that we have a score, at the beginning of the game, we have end up winning. So at the end, that's something that we, we want to focus and we want to keep doing what we, we have been working on. That work is clearly paying off. 15 goals in the last four games. FC Tucson hoping to keep that momentum going against Arizona Arsenal with the support of fans. We know that every game that we've played here, it was, it was huge, it was massive. Like with the fans, that's like a, an extra point that we get playing here at home. FC Tucson got some extra practice with an exhibition game against Coronado Athletic Club at Micah Mountain High School, but the big game this Saturday here at Kino Stadium at 7 o'clock. Reporting in Tucson, Jenna Fink, News 4 Tucson. Thanks a lot, Jenna. The NBA Summer League in Las Vegas continues strong, and one thing it's not absent of is former U of A basketball players. Get this, 11 former Arizona Wildcats are suiting up in the NBA Summer Leagues. That is the most from any university. And second, Duke and UCLA with nine players.